at Dopealicious. I was thinking the other day about Robin Williams and how he was really in a league of his own. In a sea of remakes or copycats, what game really stands out on its own? For me, it's got to be Overwatch. Just doing its own thing and well in a flooded FPS genre. Hmm. What game stands out? On its own. Uh, I would say before they kind of dialed in their thing, I think Heavy Rain stood out. When Heavy Rain first came Mm. out by Quantic Mm. Dream, I I don't feel like I had played a game quite like that before. Um, And at the time, I think it was PS3 era. um, I really liked Heavy Rain. I I thought it stood out pretty well. Chris, you got a game that you feel like stands out? Um, no, I mean, not, not, not one that people go back to because it's like, oh, God, that was good. And it, it's kind of stands alone. I, I do think had they not made a last of us two and just stuck with just with doing that first last of us and it's ending. And that's what it is. That's the last of us. No, I, I think that would probably be my answer, but because they continued on and I'm assuming are going to continue on further in some way, shape or form. I don't feel like, even though I do think it stands on its own in, in certain ways, I don't know that it fits the criteria of the question. I don't know if I have one. Mm. Ed? <clears throat> I'm going to go with uh, Detroit Become Human. Hey, look at that. Same company. Hey, there you yeah. go. There you go. <laughs> Router? Yeah, I like that. I'm going to go with uh, Telltale's The Walking Dead. I think yeah. it was really innovative at the time. The story was really great. And honestly, it's something that anybody could pick up and play. It wasn't like extremely difficult. Um, you know, it was just, you know, you had that exploring aspect of it, but then you just get sucked into the characters and the story too. So yeah. I really enjoyed it. Chris, you're raising your hand. Yes, I thought of one. Oh, okay. Hmm. Would you like to share it with the class? Uh, yes, I would. Actually, it's really more of a, you could maybe say a series of games, even though they don't all necessarily tie to each other. But, and I don't remember the guy's name. The guy that got up a couple uh, game awards ago and was like, screw the Oscars and all this kind of stuff like that. They made a way out. It takes two right now. And he also made, or his team made, Brothers. I feel like Mm -hmm. those games, even though they're all somewhat similar and have that co-op-y kind of thing going, although I think Brothers was only played by one person, but you play with the one each with the one controller with dual sticks. Yeah. I, I think those games kind of stand out. Like there's nothing else yeah. really doing those. And I feel like they do them really well. I've only played the demo of it takes two, but I was kind of blown away with it. I really dug a way out and I liked brothers. Yeah. Uh, I liked brothers as well. It was just a little too hard for me at some points. So I didn't finish it, but yeah, yeah. but yeah, I, I think he, He's doing things differently. I mean, when he comes out with the game, it may mm. be similar to something he did, but it still feels like, man, there's just nothing else like this right now. Yep. Mm, that's that's good. good. That was a good one. 